the issue is that currently as we are talking now in the region of um, the region that we have about 600 learners who are not yet placed for grade 10. These are the learners that wrote grade 9 last year. As we are talking now, these learners are still seated at home, waiting for them to be placed to these uh, secondary schools. But now, the, uh, as a student, because the time is going, we cannot wait. Because when you're going to the region, they're telling us we must wait for them to finalize that, that uh, secondary list. But it, because now the issue is that all the other schools now, the secondary schools, especially, especially the ones with hotels, are full apparently to our so they're telling us that they can only place these kids mostly to schools such as Eric Tawaya, Juniper. These are the schools that were just recently added the uh, grade uh, 10 and 11, and they, and they don't have hostels. The kids are just coming from the location and stuff. The issue here is that the principals and the teachers, mm. they plan on what is available. Someone else plan or supposed to plan for expansion because the population is increasing. The numbers of the kids that were born in 2022 will not be the same numbers of the kids that will be born in 2023. So already the Ministry of Education should know that how many kids were born in 2022 to know that in seven years I need these numbers of spaces. You understand? And there is a statistics in terms of progressions. You can take the average of 10 years, for argument's sake, to know that on average, how much space should I have been preparing for each grade? So now, the teachers and school principals are just implementers. The providers are the ones that are sitting here in the offices in the window. And to us, those are the people that they need to be held accountable in order to respond promptly to the needs in the education sector.